Blondie, blondie, blondie. Or shall I say, death boom boom. You thought it was over, mate. No, the Facebook video. It was just the beginning. For those of you who follow my Facebook page, you would have seen the video I posted about Blondie Australia. Excuse me, can you please edit my elbow? Also known as Beth Boom Boom. The model who defamed me and my business got her fans to report my photography page. It is now removed. Thank you, Instagram, for that one. All because I wouldn't edit her elbow. I'm being quite serious now, guys. Here's the Facebook video. But if you have seen it already, here's a time frame you can skip to because I know some of you have the attention span of a bloody goldfish, mate. Well, 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 it's a little bit awkward when you find out how your photography page got removed and who was behind it all. It's strange knowing a few people who know how to do some very smart things. I'm going to tell you guys the story and then I'll let you guys do what you want to do. So I did this photo shoot with a model. I'm going to tell you the name very soon. So stay, stay here for that. Uh, she paid me for an hour. The shoot went a little bit longer than an hour, but I was just being nice, so that's fine. She needed photos for a website. When you pay for an hour, you get to look at all your draft photos, and you get to pick five of your favorites that I'll edit for you, which is what I did. The editing phase took me about an hour of photos, so about four to five hours of editing. Sent her back the photos. On the first day, usually photographers take about two to three weeks. I took one day edited her photos as best as I could. She looks at them and says, hey, these are pretty nice. I like these. So there we go. I was happy with that. Story continues. So it's 4 a.m. I'm in bed. Ba-ding! My phone goes off. I get this message. Hey, I don't really like my skin in the photos. Can you please edit my elbow? It's too dark. I'm being serious. She said, edit my elbow. So I'm fine with doing a re-edit. I can fix dark patches, etc., etc. But you have to pay me for my work. I'm not doing four to five hours for free. And the funny thing is, who looks at a fucking elbow when you're looking at a model? By the way, she's also into escorting, so the photos were, were for an escort site. Who is going to go hire an escort and be like, oh, I don't really want to hire this one. She's got a bit of a brown elbow. No one's looking at your fucking elbow. I even showed my roommate her edited photos and he's like, she looks beautiful. I'm, I'm not even looking at the elbow. Me either. Like, why the fuck would you look at an elbow? Anyway, I told her she had to pay me again if she wants me to re-edit the photos. And then straight away, when I told her that, this is what she posts to her Instagram story. And keep in mind, she's got 90,000 followers, so a lot of people would have seen it. So she literally defamed my name and my business that I've been building for two years. Didn't tell anyone the full story. Sucked up to everybody. And got people to message me to start abusing me. Are you fucking serious? Excuse me, can you please edit my elbow? So I ignored it. I literally ignored it. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I usually retaliate, but I'm just going to ignore this. Three weeks later, I need to post some new photos. So I posted three of her best pics even though I shouldn't have, but they were really good picks. And as I was saying before, it's, it's pretty funny who you know. 95% of her followers reported my profile. There were over 200 reports within a couple days of her followers reporting my profile. It's actually fucking sad the extent someone would go to because you didn't edit their elbow. Are you actually fucking serious? That's two years of work and my portfolio gone. But on a side note, Blondie Australia, which is her name, you picked the wrong fucking dude to fuck with. So guys, I'm not going to give you any ideas, but you know, maybe you could just like head over to this, this profile here, Blondie Australia, kick that one there, go report user, and you know, you could go other, or you could go new deal pornography, or you could go as a fucking idiot. I know one of the two would work. And as I was saying before, it's, it's pretty funny who you know. 95% of her followers reported my profile. There were over 200 reports within a couple days of her followers reporting my profile. It's so fucking sad the extent someone would go to to remove someone's profile because you didn't edit their fucking elbow. You're a fucking sad loser. Holy shit. Dibble Army, you know what to do. Roll out. All because of a bloody elbow, mate. But wait! 
There's more! It's time we find out a bit more about Blondie, you know? This is the type of stuff she throws on her snaps. Where'd you lose your virginity, Boom Boom? And how old were ya? I lost mine a week before I turned 13. On a bushwalk. It was so... Awkward lol. It's like she even took the photo where she got her Angus peppered. See that tree right there? That's where I got fu- I don't know who to feel more sorry for. You? Or the fucking bush? But I think we know the answer to that one. Shout out to the boys I slept with in high school featuring three virgins. So you've just made a list of people you've had underage sex with. And you've also put their names to the public as well. You, you do know that's a crime. You're not very smart, are you, Boom Boom? Fun fact, I threw up on Luke Jacobs' bed at a party in Hollywood Hills when I was 17. After the Gary Busy gave me mystery pocket drugs. Hello. Oh, sorry guys, I was just waving to Boom Boom. Yeah, and I bet you shelved those little party drugs, didn't ya? Oh, fuck you, I'm dealing- Don't worry guys, I better just post a photo of the celeb so everyone thinks I'm important. Ask FM! Fuck, I haven't used this since the MySpace days, mate. What the fuck you doing on here? Good thing you're still on it. Thank you for the great quality content, though. No. Hey, slut! I'm not a slut. Well... Yuck. I. Am. Not. A. Whore. All I'm gonna say is... Excuse me, can you edit my elbow? You're not even that hot. Then why even take the time out of your day to insult me on Anon? Because that's what Ask FM is. You literally signed up for it. You're a pathetic, insecure, disgusting individual who has to hide behind a screen. Sounds very similar to some we know, guys. I just can't put my elbow on it. What's one thing you refuse to pay for? Dinner with the boyfriend. It's common courtesy for him to pay. Nah, 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 nah. If you want equal rights, you bloody take turns or you both pay. That's how it fucking works, mate. Nah, he's got to pay because he's a male. Okay then, you stay home, you cook me fucking dinner, and you wash my soggy jocks. Is that fair? Okay. Hey, Gil, have you got a YouTube? Fuck it. Yeah. Let's check this one out, boys and girls, huh? Keyword, school. Yeah, I don't think that's uh really appropriate, eh? See what you can do. Nothing more sexier than an entitled bitch with a beard. Like a yeah, you fucking rub that ball, mate. Get some fucking elbow grease in there. Clap, clap, clap for the handicap. This is not going too great for your boom boom. Also, the amount of messages I received from people who knew you in their school years saying you were the town bike, no one had anything good to say about you. The messages I received were just fucking hilarious. <laughs> Beth Boom Boom. Hey guys, it's me, Beth Boom Boom. What a shit name. Oh my god. But it didn't end there, guys. She decided to write a Harry Potter series on her Instagram story. I hired Dibble as a photographer. I paid extra to get my photos back edited the next day. When I received them, they were poorly edited and unusable. No, they weren't poorly edited. You just had a sook because you had a dark elbow. I had dodgy spray tan on my elbow <laughs> and asked him to fix it. And whose fault is that, huh? That's your fault for doing a shit tan. And you didn't just ask me to do your elbow, which I was happy to do. I'm happy to edit your elbow, but you wanted more than one photo done. And that's hours of work. Hours of work, which you pay me for. I know you're all having lots of fun thinking I'm a dickhead. Yeah, that's true. Caring about my elbow, but when that picture is being blown up, that elbow is gonna be the size of a watermelon. How fucking big is your elbow cut? Holy fucking shit, mate. Now she's got a watermelon elbow. Can you edit my watermelon elbow? While we were shooting, you asked me to write a review, help him get more business. I'm quite an agreeable person, so I said yes. He had already posted the review by the time we were having this exchange. He refused to take a dip. Are you fucking serious? Okay, Boom Boom, please show me exactly where I posted this review. I would love to see it. We would all love to see it. Oh wait, I never posted a fucking review. You just lied. He refused to take it down I was uncomfortable endorsing someone who was being so dodgy. So I posted on my story about him, letting people know what happened. After about a month passed, I forgot this guy's existence. I'm sure all those elbow comments on your profile remind you quite a bit of me, Boom Boom. <laughs> Sure he didn't forget my existence at all. Until he posted a completely uncensored photo of me on his page. Are you fucking serious? You're acting like I posted a photo of your beefcake box on my Instagram. Sorry mate, but I don't want to scar people for life. All my work is censored. I don't post uncensored content to my Instagram. I mean, once again, we'd all love to see this uncensored photo that I apparently posted. 
Oh wait, you lied about that too. And you're playing the victim. Because I never posted an uncensored photo of you. I commented on it. You do not have my permission to share this photo. He blocked me. Wrecked. And then I forgot about him again. <laughs> That's funny, because you know, once you go to my website, and you read all the package details, and all the confinements that it has inside of it, and look, look, look at this over here. You see in the additional info section. After receiving an acceptance, all edited images are allowed to be posted via socials with appropriate tags. Did you happen to read that? I've got permission to use the edited photos on my page. Like every other model who's been featured on my page. They're all the edits. You fucking idiot. I didn't ask anyone to report him. That's funny. That's, that's why 90% of the 200 reports came from people who were following you. My guess would be that his account was shut down because he was posting uncensored pics, which Instagram doesn't allow. So take it out with Instagram, not me. <laughs> boop, boop. I think it's funny that he spends the whole video bagging me, a client out, revealing my personal details, name, contact, ETC, asking his followers to get my page shut down and unleashing his army of noobs to threaten, rape, and you do know those are some serious fucking claims. Those are some serious claims you just said. Threaten to rape and murder me. Blondie, I would just love to see where I told my fans to do that to you. Please, if you can find any conversations, any video footage of me saying, go say that stuff to Blondie. Please, I'd love to see. I mean, we'd all love to see. We're waiting. Oh, you mean you lied again and you're playing the victim because I never said that about you. And then he finishes off the video telling potential new clients where they can reach him. Good luck, mate. Well, that's why I'm already halfway to where I was at within a week. Just because of my fan base. Look how bloody loyal these guys are. We can do that in a week. We can do fucking anything, mate. Being serious now, guys. I feel terrible. I think it's time we edit her elbow. Oh! <laughs>